The Haas F1 team have had an incredible season so far by their standards, and with yesterday's news, it just got so much better. It's no secret that financially, Haas are the weakest team on the grid, and technically, that severely limits what they're capable of doing, with a lot of the work on their F1 cars being done by Dallara with a Ferrari engine. That is all about to change, though, with a massive new sponsor and partnership, which could completely change the competitive order of the F1 grid. Today, I'll give you all the details, so don't go anywhere. Alright, the big news is that the Haas F1 team have signed a technical partnership with Toyota, which will see the Japanese company's name return to F1 after a 15-year absence. The Toyota racing brand, Gazoo Racing, will partner Haas starting immediately, with a Gazoo Racing branding featuring on the Haas F1 car from next weekend's race in America. If you've watched any of my videos where I'm on camera, you'll probably have seen the massive Toyota Gazoo racing flag that adorns the wall behind me, and whether it's in World Endurance Championship or British Touring Cars, they're a brand I've always supported, mostly due to always driving the Castrol-branded Toyota Corolla in Colin McRae Rally as a kid. The magnitude of this deal cannot be understated. Toyota Gazoo Racing have won five of the last seven 24-hour of Le Mans races, the first of which in 2018 featured an incredible lineup of Fernando Alonso, Sebastian Buemi, and Kazuki Nakajima. They are a very impressive organization who will bring an incredible amount of knowledge and skills to the Haas team. Speaking about the announcement, Haas team principal Ayo Komatsu said, to have a world leader in the automotive sector support and work alongside our organization while seeking to develop and accelerate their own technical and engineering expertise is simply a partnership with obvious benefits on both sides. The ability to tap into the resources and knowledge base available at Toyota Gazoo Racing, benefiting from their technical and manufacturing processes, will be instrumental in our own development and our clear desire to further increase our competitiveness in Formula 1. In return, we offer a platform for Toyota Gazoo Racing to fully utilize and subsequently advance their in-house engineering capabilities. With full respect to the Haas F1 team, Toyota are in this for more than just the honor of working with Haas, the prestige of working in F1, and the chance to flex their technical muscle on the world stage. Tomoya Takahashi, president of Gazoo, said the company aimed to cultivate drivers, engineers, and mechanics as part of the arrangement. But the real reason behind the deal is that Toyota has found in recent years that they're missing out on aspiring Japanese racing drivers and engineers to rival Honda because of Honda's presence in F1. The rivalry between Honda and Toyota, especially in Japan, is massive, and at the moment, Honda are viewed as the more impressive company. Young kids starting out their karting career want to make it to Formula 1 more than anywhere else, and Honda's presence in F1 as Red Bull's current engine partner gives them a big advantage as they can offer an easier route to the sport. Toyota made it very clear in their announcement of the deal that this partnership is all about offering their junior drivers a chance at an F1 seat, putting them head-to-head -head with Honda to sign the best young Japanese drivers. Specifically, the agreement entails the participation in Haas F1 team test drives for TGR training drivers, engineers, and mechanics, Toyota said. This will enable the drivers to gain driving experience in F1, and it will allow the engineers and mechanics to learn how to analyze vast amounts of data, such as driving data, to effectively operate a pipeline for such at TGR. While the potential of some great Japanese drivers making it to the Haas F1 team is something exciting for the future, this partnership is going to have a far more immediate impact on the team. But before I talk about that, if you're enjoying the video and want to catch daily F1 news, as well as some occasional opinion pieces, then please like the video and subscribe. It really does help. Thanks a lot. Right, what does this mean for Haas right now? Well, at the moment, Haas are obviously a Ferrari customer. They buy Ferrari engines, their factory is quite literally next door to Ferraris, and Komatsu has previously described that arrangement as the foundation of the Haas model. For now, that isn't going to change. Contractually, it can't change. As earlier this year, Haas extended their deal with Ferrari until 2028, so there isn't going to be a Toyota F1 engine anytime soon. Even if they wanted to make that investment, which they've said they don't, it would probably take them three years to get an engine project to the point where they could confidently field a competitive F1 engine. So that just isn't happening. 
But while that means there's no Toyota engine in the offering, there are many ways Gazoo will assist Haas by gradually taking over an Arius Ferrari and Dallara are key in. Gazoo's WEC project, which is based in Cologne, Germany, will assist with aerodynamic development, simulation work, and parts manufacturing. They're probably a better outfit to handle the chassis development and construction than Dallara as well, so it wouldn't be that surprising if Dallara were phased out from Haas completely in the future. The Cologne factory will offer Haas some exceptional development and construction facilities, as well as some of the best engineers in the world. It was up until this year that McLaren shipped their parts all the way to Cologne to use this Toyota wind tunnel. I'll say it again, how good this partnership is for Haas cannot be understated. What's funny is that Nico Hülkenberg actually hinted at something big happening at Haas earlier this week. He said he believes Haas's current investment drive will help it become a serious competitor in the years to come in Formula 1. That investment drive has seen team owner Gene Haas sign off on a recruitment drive designed to increase the squad's 300-person size by 10% and is believed to have also greenlit a significant investment in the facilities at the team's UK base in Banbury. Asked how he predicts Haas's future will go once he heads to the Sauber team that will become Audi in 2026, Hülkenberg replied, I think the team is set up very well now. It always depends also on many other factors. Commercially, what kind of partners do they have? What are the budget? What are the resources? That's obviously a key element in that kind of question. And I don't know that going forward what will happen here. But I hear that there is some more exciting stuff in the pipeline for the team, which will only help them, I think. And I think Haas is going to be a serious competitor in the years to come, especially definitely next year still, because the regulations are stable. That exciting stuff in the pipeline was obviously this Toyota deal. And Hülkenberg is right. This deal could completely change Haas's potential for next season. They've made huge strides in 2024 already. Spearheaded by Nico's incredible qualifying performances, the team currently sits seventh in the Constructors' Championship and are just three points behind VCarb. Seventh is already the second best ever finish in the Constructors' Championship, but if they could finish sixth and be the best of the back markers, that would be an unbelievable achievement especially when it would mean beating VCarb, who tightened their technical relationship with Red Bull this year in an attempt to be more competitive. If Haas can best VCarb, it would be an upset on the scale of David versus Goliath. With Toyota on board, they can build on their incredible success this season. While the regulation changes in 2026 could present a big opportunity for progress up the grid, the fact the regulations are staying stable in 2025 might be better for Haas. They've found some competitive form this season and have clearly wrapped their heads around the regulations in a way that many teams have struggled with. Financially, it has been difficult for them to develop in the same way as the top teams, but this Toyota partnership will change that. The two will be hard at work now, preparing the 2025 car, and Toyota have come on board at the perfect time to offer their expertise to make that car better than Haas and Dallara and Ferrari together ever could. There is a very real chance that Haas could outclass the rest of the also rans next season, comfortably securing a 6th place finish in the Constructors' Championship. Gene might even dare to dream of matching the best ever finish of 5th. And why shouldn't he dream? As other teams have collapsed under the financial strain of Formula 1, Haas have persevered. They've been insulted and downtrodden, treated as lesser than the rest of the sport for so many years. Yet Haas has survived when so many other teams failed. Now, after all those years of pain, so many years of ridicule, their perseverance is being rewarded and I couldn't be happier for them. What do you think the future looks like for Haas? Is 2025 set to be the team's best ever season? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, and if you want to help support the channel, then make sure to check out our new merch store at f1reverse.com. I'll see you next time.